I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales, and I'm on board Argonaut, a 1984 Wilbur 38. This boat is owned by a professional yacht captain with experience on much larger vessels, and it really shows. He's done a ton of work to her since he took ownership of the vessel in 2015. She's been maintained to the highest standards, and she's absolutely gorgeous. And you guys really need to see this to believe it. We'll take you a look around. If you have any questions about Argonaut, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is right below the video. Snuck on board the boat next door to get a better look at Argonaut. She's got her new little Franz windlass there, ultra anchor. Really gorgeous. See all of the yacht finishes. No detail too small. Beautiful. I'll hop on board. So we climb on board here and get a peek at the beautiful paint job. She's got a lovely gold leaf lettering on the transom. So nice clever piece of carpentry here. This is a really great boarding ladder. So you don't need a walk through transom door. Um, and this head flips down to be a swim ladder as well. Dual purpose allows me to climb on board here quite easily. Take a look at this gorgeous cockpit. So you're very easy to get on and off. The storage back here is incredible. We've got deck storage with chamois and cleaning supplies and down below you've got a really nice big drink fridge with a freezer and blind storage and chamois here got paddleboard and a boat hook there we do have both port and starboard uh, Port and starboard uh, hookups for your shore power. And there's a little light under there with 110 volt outlet. And here to port, very similar storage. Although the um, back end of the exhaust hood for the galley is there taking up some space. And down below here is top access to a uh, cooler. Give you a look here at that center line bench seat. And over here to port we've got a mount for a life raft, some more deck tools, and an EPIRB. Right here in the middle we've got a really nice lazarette storage. Lighted, plenty of room there. And we'll head up onto the flybridge. Quite easy access up here. Love the red, white, and blue classic cushions with the teak helm chair. There's a varnished teak. Lawn chair there to starboard. We've got our new Simrad radar, your KVH SAT TV system, and up at the top there are some Wi-Fi boosters. Nice horn and some floodlights. 
there is a new Stamoid Bimini top here as well. We've got our Simrad touchscreen MFD, autopilot, fusion radio, and to starboard, we've got our this is a new Tridata Simrad, VHF radio, engine shutoffs, Bose speakers throughout the boat. Extremely well equipped. Get a look at what the view's like from the helm here. This mast does pivot down. It's not going to be something that you do very often, but it, it could be pivoted down for winter storage uh, in a shed. Head back out on deck, show you the bow. It's quite easy getting on deck here, hand holds throughout. Let's see up top here. On the bow, we see this new LaFrance windlass, the stainless steel ultra anchor. And really, the most one of the most noticeable parts of the boat is that all of the top sides and the superstructure look incredible, and that's because in 2016, 2017, the entire boat, top to bottom, was fared, sanded, and painted with all grip. Every single surface, including the non-skid, the house, top sides, and everything. They did an amazing job. You can see these two big hatches here. That's the master and the guest berth. windows all replaced as well and check out the details I mean it's just incredible I'll even notice the Wilbur logo was reconditioned this season again no detail it's too minor I just absolutely love this boat. If you don't mind a bit of varnish, it just doesn't get more beautiful than this. She's incredible. Really tastefully done. Heading into the pilot house here. Get a look around. Argonaut has the galley up here to port. You can see the commercial style stainless steel countertops. It's got a princess propane stove and oven. The Kenmore microwave with a vent hood. This is your Grinert refrigerator, holding plate, some storage up above. There's a whole lot of storage here. Chart table here to port. Got the new Simrad touchscreen MFD. Your center window opens. Give you some air in the pilot house here. Take a look at the helm.
nicely laid out with your VHF up above and the autopilot. There's your steering station so you can remove that seat if you're standing and driving down here below. Most would pilot from the flybridge. Get a good look at that. The settee here was raised up. You can see almost a foot so you can actually see out when sitting. Um, before when the settee was normal height you couldn't see out the windows when you're sitting there big difference. The Samsung flat screen TV is new and the beautiful overheads as well. Right here in the companion down below make our way into the guest stateroom first it's a bunk room nice little vanity there pretty decent size on the lower berth and the upper as well we've got a new Samsung flat screen TV there nice Hanging locker, storage. And we'll take a look at the head to starboard. She's got a new electric toilet. Bathroom's been completely redone. And unique feature that it does not have a wet head. It has this awesome shower stall here. Grohe faucet. Overhead hatch. Very spacious. And heading forward into the master, really spacious V-berth here. There's a filler cushion that goes in. I've got the piece stored there for now. This room has these big, huge open opening hatches up above with screens. You can see the VIP guest stateroom has the same. Uh, the master got a new air conditioning compressor and air handler uh, within the last year. She as well has a flat screen TV. Little vanity here. There's a lot of storage on this boat for a 38 foot. Let's see here on the wall. nice full-size hanging locker so we've got a couple of the floor pieces pulled up here to show you the engine room and mechanical space you can see the latches here that almost this entire floor all the way back to the door there. All this pulls up for excellent engine access, systems access. I've got a little foot step here. Step on, get down. The uh, Westerbeek Gen set is mounted center line. I've got the fuel ray cores there, my dripless shaft seals, reverso oil change system. These are the Caterpillar 3116s. Boat cruises in the 
around 10 knots, 12 knot range. It's not a real speed demon, but comfy down east ride. I've got this custom diamond plate cover here for the AGM batteries, which were new a couple years ago. Did all new engine mounts. When the current owner uh, bought the boat, he had the cat dealer in Gloucester do a really comprehensive engine uh, refit. All new coolers uh, or cleaned and pressure tested coolers, hoses, belts, everything. Um, and that maintenance has continued annually as with every other system on the boat, as you can see. Really nice space here, easy to access. Love this step. If you have any questions about Argonaut, there's a link below the video with the specs, pricing, and other details, or feel free to reach out to me via call, text, or email. My contact information is right below the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.